Hey, uh, let's see if we can get that in the sun. All right. All right, beautiful day at the beach. It's a oh, little plastic bottle cap. Um, pick that guy up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, beautiful day at the beach. I just got a plastic bottle cap on my way out. Be nice if I didn't find these, but I do. Um, at any rate, I know there's a cut out there. I checked it out yesterday. Um, I know a lot of the guys have been hitting it pretty hard. I'd be surprised if there's nobody down here metal detecting as I speak. Um, I'm trying to get in at low tide and we really don't have a low tide. Today is for the most part a medium the entire day. So there's not a huge fluctuation. The swell has dropped considerably. It was huge yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping, hoping that it didn't fill a bunch of sand back in since I looked at it and um, Maybe we'll get lucky and find something that somebody didn't find. Because again, I'm uh, probably about oh, three to four days late to the party for the most part, as far as this, uh, this little stretch goes. So let's see what we can find. Well, unfortunately it does look like the, uh, the cut filled in a bit. It was bigger yesterday. Um, doesn't mean we won't find anything, but it definitely Looks like a lot of sand is filled in. I just use that as an elevator to get down. Maybe we'll get lucky down low. I do see some rocks and stuff down there, so we might be okay to find some stuff. All right, I'm seeing a lot of dig holes. Uh, I can see one right there that somebody didn't fill in. I can see other ones over there, so we may be, again, too late to the party even for today. I don't see anybody metal detecting, but uh, they may have already come and gone. I just got a pretty cool piece of giant sea glass. It's actually from one of those old, uh, I'm trying to show my finds in the sun. So a lot of people have commented that it's usually in the dark. So it is an old kind of sea foam Coke bottle. It's uh, definitely worn down after all these years. So cool piece of sea glass. All right, there's a whole lot of iron here. Um, I just saw this thing and it's like a hose, some sort of an end fitting on the end of it. It's uh, that right there is also uh, some sort of iron. Somebody possibly already dug up and then uh, decided to leave on the beach. So I'll try to take that with us if we can get it out of here. But a lot of times when I find a lot of iron, I get uh, a lot of decent targets in the same area just because that means it's where heavy items have uh, started to uh, gather. So again, I have no idea whether this whole area has been hit really, really hard or not. Kind of interesting, I'm not finding anything really low right now, which is a little concerning because I'm sure that uh, whoever was here got all the higher stuff or at least i would think they would have gotten all the higher stuff truthfully i'm not seeing a lot more dig marks down here but that doesn't mean they haven't been here and gone i think i see a huge piece of iron sticking out of the ground up here iron there is that, what that is if it is it's massive boy i think that is yeah, I think that's a big giant. Wow, that is huge. I have never seen that before. Oh no, it's actually a, a log. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, a dragon? I don't know, looks like something. Now, this thing sounds pretty horrible. It's a 20, which uh, is a good signal, but kind of thinking aluminum maybe.
and that's a 16. Still a great number. And I think it's going to be iron. Um, what is that? Oh, it might just be a little piece of copper, actually. Yeah, I think it's just a tiny piece of copper. Let's see if I can show that in the sun. There you go. Tiny copper. And I think this is iron, but there's a million holes out here, but it does have a little bit of a low tone to it. So I think it's going to maybe be a fishing weight. Sometimes they'll do the exact same thing. Hmm. So, yeah, now it actually sounds pretty good. Oh, it's a zinc penny. That's why. There you go. First coin, zinc penny. All right, this is a mid-tone. Let's see if... Uh, if we got it. it, quite frankly, it sounded a lot like a pull tab, but uh, now it sounds like a zinc penny. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> I think that's a ring. I think that is going to be a ring. It is a ring. It's in horrible condition. Um, thinking tungsten, it's real heavy get that in the light so it is a ring though all right well we're uh, at least one ring on the board yeah that poor little thing's been uh, pretty well mutilated out here <laughs> but it is a ring so we'll keep going somebody missed it all right I see another piece of seafoam glass and it actually looks uh, kind of like a heart not quite, but nice. Another piece of nice sea glass. All right, I got just a whisper of what might be a low tone down here. It's in there. Just a whisper. Ooh, seven. That's a good number. Sounds amazing. I'm not seeing anything yet, though. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a zinc penny. Uh, it is. I'm not kidding. Whoever got here this morning, there are like a thousand holes. They got, you, know, you probably can't see them, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look over there, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They're, they're everywhere. Whoever was here hooked up. Um, I can't imagine they didn't get gold and silver. It's just so many holes. And the fact that nobody's here is interesting too. All right, I just dug out of that hole right there, which can be a booger to fill in. I did get a, some sort of low tone, 20. So it could be a zinc penny. Sounds pretty good though. Yeah, it sounds like iron. Now it sounds really good again. Oh, what am I seeing? Is that little something right here? Is that what I'm digging up? Piece of aluminum? Yep, piece of aluminum. Man, that sounded good. Oh, it's an old beaver tail. All right, maybe a low tone right here. Might be iron though. Could be a bobby pin to be honest with you, the way it sounds. Yeah, I think it's gonna be iron. Oh, I just saw it. It was a little piece of wire of some sort. Yeah, it's a little piece of stainless steel wire. I got a 27 here. 26, 27, probably nickel, but it's kind of good if he's missing nickels. Certainly would like it to be something else, but I see a nickel right there. Yep. There you go. 
again, I'm trying to show my uh, finds in the sun so you can see them. But, uh, there you go. Little old Jefferson. And another one sounds almost identical next to it. Um, and they sound like iron, by the way, to start with. This one still sounds like iron. Kind of thinking bobby pin. I think it may be a fish hook. Yeah, I think it's a fish hook. It is. Little fish hook. Well, I think this one's going to be a zinc penny, maybe. Oh, maybe a fishing weight. I think I see a fishing weight right there. Yep. A little fishing weight. Well, this one's got an interesting... I'm starting to decide that I may need to dig all these iron targets because uh, the last three have sounded... Just like iron. Now this is an 18, and 18's a great number. Be thrilled to think this guy was missing good targets because he was not listening to, uh, you know, to um, iron tones. And I think this might actually be. Boy, what is that? Oh, I think it's a bling. Yeah, it's a bling starfish. I don't think it's anything real. In fact, I can see, yeah, I can see uh, copper coming through on it, but it, uh, let's see if we can get that in the sun. All right, there you go. Little blingy starfish. All right. Another horrible sounding iron tone, negative 18. But I got a feeling. Now it's getting a little bit of a mid-tone grunt. A little... Uh -uh. Starting to sound even better now. Sounds like all iron now. Um, and I see something. What is that? Oh, it's a bobby pin. Trying to show it to you in the sun. There you go. Well, I just checked with the guys, and uh, it was Brad and Dave, and they got some gold and silver out here this morning. They got a kind of very small sounding mid-tone right here, and I think they see something. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it's a little horse, tiny little horse. Um, you can tell that it's just plated, but it is a horse, so I got myself a pony. See if we can do it in the sun. I'm trying to do them in the sun these days. All right, this one's a negative 18, which uh, so far has actually turned out almost always to be a good target. So we're going to dig it. Getting a little bit of a mid-tone chirp to it, or not chirp, but a kind of a like, uh, uh. Sounding much better now. Sounds pretty good. Still not seeing anything. Certainly not seeing any gold. Doesn't mean it's not there, it just means I'm not seeing it. Is that a nickel? Is that what I see? Is that another nickel? I think it is. Boy, those nickels. Look how just encased in black sand that is. Um, I mean, it is just covered in black sand. There you go, another nickel. This one's weird. It started out as all iron. Now it's probably a zinc penny. It's 78. Maybe it's a dime though. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see, is that a copper penny? No, maybe it's a dime. I think it is a dime. All right, got a dime though. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get in the sun. All right, this might be my best sounding uh, signal yet. It's a six or a seven on uh, the VDI. Ooh, a little shallow to be good though. Doesn't mean for sure. Five, six now.
kind of think a little piece of copper maybe I see something right there I do what is that oh you know exactly what this is and it took me a while to figure out what they were but these are actually sunglass hinges and they sound amazing I got a I think legitimate high tone 98 but it just don't hear any iron in it so if it's a 10 stake it's really doing a great job of uh, mimicking a high tone not saying they do oh hey never mind it is a 10 stake look at that yep uh -uh. Uh, those other guys 10 stakes cousin rusty well I'm walking up to the car and I can see a surface find of a nickel. There you go. It's one of the creepy ones where he's looking from the side, too. <laughs> there you go. Got a nickel. All right. Here we are back on the beach. And uh tell you, man, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. It is the weekend. So a lot of what we call the weekend warriors out here, uh, surfing i'm gonna see there there was a cut here yesterday and i'm gonna see if it's filled in yesterday it looked like it was starting to fill in so i'm kind of thinking um this may not be the last beach of the day but i do want to come down here and give it a look see it's funny i just was talking to somebody uh one of my um viewers that had commented about you know kind of territorialism and how a lot of detectors will kind of act like you know beach is theirs and other people shouldn't hunt there wow the waves look amazing there's a guy about to surf this wave right here and it is a good looking wave wow so when a surfer goes that direction it's a left and if he goes that direction it's a right which is opposite of what the beach, you know, so when I look out there, it's obviously to my right and obviously to the left. But uh, if your front foot, when you're going left, is your right foot, that's called goofy foot. Wow, look at that wave that guy just got. I don't know if you could see it on the GoPro, but that was a really good one. So uh, it looks about as good as it could be for its size. Right now, it's only about, I don't know, maybe close to head high which is close to six feet in the face considered probably a three to four foot swell but uh wow conditions look amazing super glassy so i by the way am goofy footed so when i surf to the left my front my right foot is my front foot so oh there is somebody down here so i don't know if i know him or not We'll, we'll uh, hopefully catch up with them. But yeah, I was talking to this other, my comments to a guy that uh, that said he's had a lot of uh, a lot of people that have been territorialistic. That's funny. I just drove five minutes to get to this beach, so theoretically I could be territorialistic, but I feel this beach is for everybody. So I'm gonna hopefully go talk to this guy, and hopefully he's nice. I got a 67, 68 here maybe a zinc penny that's reading a little high or maybe a dime or a copper penny we'll see we shall see what we shall see i think i see what's left of a maybe zinc penny no Boy. Oh, I think it's actually a giant blob, you're right. Yeah, there might actually be a zinc penny in the middle of that. I don't know. I can't really totally tell. Maybe a zinc penny? Probably a blob, you're right. See a little piece of green sea glass right there.
Well, his name is Rick. Really, really nice guy. He lives right up the street from me, so hopefully uh, we'll end up hooking up and uh, get to metal tech a little bit. At any rate, we have what might be a low tone. It could, could be small iron too, but it's saying a, it's bouncing around a four to negative eight. It's definitely out of the hole. Definitely sounds like it might be small aluminum. anything yet we should be in here and it is oh tiny piece of copper all right I have a sounds like a mid-tone but I don't think it is I think it's gonna be a zinc penny it's uh, reading all over the place from a negative six to a 52 54. I'm thinking, really thinking zinc penny. And I think I see a zinc penny right there. Yep, never ever spendable. Super bubbled. Alright. Might have a quarter here, either a quarter or a dime. I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, I think I do see it actually. And it was a dime. This sounds like a mid tone, 22, 23 maybe? Could just be bobby pin or something, but I don't know. Uh, I think I see something, maybe part of a zinc penny, maybe? I don't know what that is. It's metal. I know that. A little piece of metal. Maybe copper. Really low. Maybe iron. I just got a bobby pin right next to it. Boy, this one sounds kind of good. I mean, it sounds like foil, but... Oh, that's because it's foil. <laughs> Stay fresh top. I'll let you guys listen to this. I think it's a dime. Oh, a quarter. All right. I just need a nickel and I'd have the cycle. See if I can get it in the sunshine. There you go. All right, here is the wrap up. More than realistic. Uh, I will say this, you know, California, I don't know, it's been a few years now, has a five cent back bag tax on every time you take a bag out of a grocery store if you don't bring your own. And I thought it was horrible. I absolutely just was super bummed out when it happened. Um, but I will say this, since that occurred, I find less and less of these little shopping bags uh, in the water. I still find them, but not nearly as many as I used to. So I'm kind of leaning towards maybe it's working. I don't know. It's sad that people need to be, you know, taxed so that they don't litter. I can't quite figure out why people just don't dispose of things in the proper, in the proper and appropriate place. Um, but they don't. So I've got a whole bunch of reusable bags and I take my target bags back and back and back and back again. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I did get a zip tie. I don't know if somebody was being held captive. I did get uh, a few tent stakes, small fishing weight, a um, couple of pieces of random uh, can slaw aluminum. Did get one uh, part of a pull tab, the old school one. I got this uh, piece of, I don't know, hose or hose fitting there's definitely some sort of a you know nozzle or something on the end that's made out of iron that's what uh was uh you know tipping off my detector 
almost looks like there might be a little brass there too. I don't know. Um, I did get five, count them, five plastic bottle caps. I got the this little thing, and these sound amazing. They are actually the hinge for sunglasses. Um, they will drive you nuts. They get some pretty cool sea glass. This is off an old, poke, uh, old Coke bottle. Can't even speak. Um, little piece of copper. Uh, I did get one dime, three nickels, two pennies. I can't find the coins from the second beach. So I know I got a quarter. Uh, I think I got another dime and another zinc penny there. Um, but I cannot find them to save my life. I did get... Well, we'll start with the we'll start with the tiny horse. I got a tiny, tiny horse. <laughs> I got this blingy um, starfish that is utter junk, and I got this stainless steel ring, which is also utter junk. But I did get a ring, so there you go. Again, definitely a realistic hunt. If you guys are interested in uh, CKG products or gold pull tab scoops, or Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones. Highly recommend all of these things. There is uh, links in the description of this video. So just go into the description and you'll see the links. If you have problems finding them, let me know and I will work that out. All right, a lot of people have been asking how to get Pirate Mike shirts. I used to try to ship them out directly. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, my printer hated that I was only ordering a few at a time. Um, super expensive, didn't make a lot of sense. So if you guys are interested, just go in the description. There is a link directly to Spring, um, and you can order all sorts of shirts and stickers and all sorts of good stuff. So again, if you did want Pirate Mike merchandise, that is how you do it. So again, just go in the description. If you have any questions on how to find it, I can also send that to you. If you just comment, can't find it, I will send that to you as well. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Love it. If you guys would subscribe, you can just click on my head right here, or you can watch either of these two videos.